excited to talk to you today about one of my favorite things, prayer. Prayer is simply talking to God, and you could do it anywhere and anytime. Jesus loved to pray. He made it a habit in his life. He would slip away from crowds of people to be alone and talk to his father, God. One day, one of Jesus' disciples asked him, Lord, teach us how to pray. And Jesus answered his friend with a simple example. And it's something we can use and think about when we pray to God today. You might actually know this prayer already, or you might have heard it in slightly different words. It's a wonderful prayer to memorize so that we have it deep in our hearts and can always pray if we don't know what else to say to God. We can find Jesus' prayer in the Bible in Luke chapter 11. Jesus told his disciples this, when you pray, this is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Now we don't have to stick to those exact words. We can take the same ideas from Jesus' prayer and make them our own. First, let's look at the way Jesus started his prayer. Father, may your name be honored. Jesus called God Father, and you and I can call God Father too. He is our perfect Father who loves us no matter what. God deserves to be honored. He made heaven and earth, and he made each one of us and everyone you'll ever meet. He made us in his image, and we are his sons and daughters. When we pray, we can say what Jesus said. Father, may your name be honored. Or we could say something like, God, thank you for being my father. Thank you for loving me. I praise you, God, for who you are and for all you've done in my life. Our prayers don't have to just be about the things we want or need. We can take time to honor God and thank him for all he's done for us. All right, how about the next part of that Jesus' prayer? May your kingdom come. God is our king and he is in control of this whole world and everything we see. He has a good plan for our lives. So when we say, may your kingdom come, we're asking God to make things in our world right now good and true, the way he planned them to be. We're asking him to help us be a part of what he's doing to make things right in the world. So when we pray, we can say what Jesus said, may your kingdom come. Or we could say something like, God, you are a magnificent king and your kingdom is full of love and joy and peace. Help me bring that kingdom to the people here by loving you and loving others with my whole heart. God, I pray your kingdom would spread here on earth just as it does in heaven. All right, let's check out the next part of Jesus's prayer. Give us each day our daily bread. Do you think Jesus was actually talking about bread? Nah, he was saying that God gives us everything we need. All the good things in our lives are gifts from God. We can pray and ask God for the things that we need and the things that other people need too. Praying helps us remember that God is always there to take care of us. When we pray, we can say what Jesus said, give us each day our daily bread. Or we can say something like, thank you God for giving me everything I need for the sun and the rain. You gave me food to eat and great friends and family and you give me exactly what I need. I pray that you'll also help the people around me have what they need too. I don't have to worry because I know you'll take good care of me. Now let's look at the last part of what Jesus prayed. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Jesus knew that his friends were a lot like us. They weren't perfect. They messed up sometimes. Jesus knew that it was important for us to talk to God when we mess up because we know that God will always forgive us and be there to give us a fresh start. When we've experienced God's forgiveness for ourselves, then it's easy for us to forgive others too. So when we pray, we can say what Jesus said, or we could say something like, dear God, I know that I mess up sometimes. Like when I say something mean to someone or I'm acting selfishly, Please forgive me. Thank you, God, for your forgiveness. It's so good to know that you will always love me and forgive me no matter what. And please help me to give the same kind of forgiveness to the people around me. Help me to do what's right and keep me from making choices that will hurt myself or hurt other people. Do you see how we can say Jesus' prayer in lots of different ways? 
Of course it's great to use Jesus' words, but it helps to know that when we pray, you can talk to God about anything, anywhere, anytime. You can say what's on your heart and mind and in your own words, and it always helps to practice. And that's our bottom line. Remember this, practice praying to God. Let's say that together, practice praying to God. It's so good to know that we can talk to God about anything that's happening in our lives. God loves us and he loves it when we pray to him. You can talk to him when you're not sure what to do and you need wisdom. You can talk to him when you're scared or nervous or upset. And you can talk to him when things are going great and you just wanna say thank you. And remember, you don't have to be at church to pray. You can pray at night before bed. You can pray over your meals. You can pray on your car ride to school or in the middle of a soccer game. You can pray to God anywhere, anytime, about anything. Whether praying is something that you've done in your family for a long time, or if it's brand new, just remember, God is always there for you. You can talk to him about anything that's going on in your life because he loves you so much. So get to praying, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.